Let's get it. And Voxel uh, to reply to your video. Why some people think I used different settings on my video, but before I want to be clear about that, I didn't. Just I that's because I lost my respect for XLR cables. <laughs> you lost your respect. I lost my respect for XLR cables. You know, I have one cable that I hate more than XLR cables. <laughs> Hey guys, uh, this is going to be a little special episode. I'm 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 very excited. Um, I'm yeah, excited. This is, yeah, we didn't we didn't <laughs> upload yesterday, by the way, because we had some troubles with um, with our equipment, and um, yeah, we're still uploading everything from our hotspots right now. Yeah. Um, so uh, we have a little bit more difficulty. This will all get better in the future. We'll get better, guys. Um, but this will be funny because last week we had a podcast and we uh, we talked about uh, the kickback battle. We talked about if we um, if we if we now, we talked about if we wanted zero, uh, if we found zero good enough to be in the top eight, and <clears throat> we talked about cheating in the in uh, in the wild cards. One of the wild cards sounded to us like it there was happening automation. some some automation, yeah. and we talked about this in the video. Um, Ridmind, uh, this was the video of Ridmind, and Ridmind responded to us uh, uh, asking uh, and saying like, guys, trust me, I didn't cheat, um, and I will prove it by sending you a video. He sent us a video, I didn't watch it yet, so I'm gonna watch it with you guys. Um, and I'm very excited, I'm very excited, because yeah. I really hope he didn't. It's really cool and, um, actually that, that he that Yeah, he does it's this. really dope, it's really dope. And I, I, it, makes me, it makes me also think more that he didn't cheat, because yeah. if he did cheat, he probably wouldn't have make, made a video. So, we're gonna watch it. Um, I, I listened to the audio of his wild card back many times, and every time I was like, "This sounds so strange. This sounds like I've never heard some so much difference in in audio." And I I just want to hear his explanation. And he made a video just for us, um, so we're gonna go over it right now and uh, and talk about it. Yeah, let's see what let's see what he has to say. Yeah, this is going to be exci uh, exciting. Exciting. <laughs> okay, here we go again from the beginning. He's made it with InShot. <laughs> okay, let's go. InShot, our new sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. Okay, Hi, Geert and Voxel. Uh, to reply to your video, we're gonna try to understand why some people think I used different settings on my video. But before, I wanna be clear about that, I didn't. I really can understand why they have this opinion, especially for my first drop. So I will take this part and I'm gonna try to explain you how I did. Let's go. So now I tried to reproduce the same settings I used for my wild card. So as you can see, I used one EQ, one compressor, and two different reverbs. Okay, for my EQ, okay, I push bass a lot and high. Oh, that's a push, push, okay. push, push, push. As you can see, my microphone, when I push my beatbox, is on the red here. Mm -hmm. I know it's not good for the sound, but it was my choice, and I think it's better for my beatbox, okay? Okay. Now I'm gonna make my first drop and my intro. For my intro, I don't push my kicks a lot. I just made the... <laughs> For my first drop, I push my kicks like that. Okay. Okay. Ah. Uh, so it's basically. So it's the air. It's basically. So what I'm seeing here is is because that's that's the thing I looked at as well. Like, um, I was I was I was analyzing how he, because his uh, in the first drop before he goes into the drop his. His uh, the distance from uh, from his face to the microphone didn't change, and then the sound all of a sudden mm -hmm. changes. So he creates his own dynamics. Basically. So he so what he did is like um, he did like um, he, he almost like did didn't use any air like going into the he makes his kicks really soft, and then in the drop he goes. And then the the it it, it gets it like especially yeah. the air makes the the <laughs> makes the uh, yeah. So what I, what I think is like he's creating his own dynamics basically uh, by making his sounds more loud or less loud. 
So yep. this makes a difference. But let's see what else he has to say. Yeah. And if I take this part. <laughs> If I delete my settings, it sounds like a shit beatboxer. <laughs> That's the ending. <laughs> Sick. Right. Big up to Ridmind. All, right. All right. That's awesome. I love that he made this video. Thank you, Ridmind, for, for making this video. Um, I mean... It explains it like a, it, a little bit. Yeah. Yes, because like it, it, it sounds like the same setting. So I um I do want to apologize to to both Ritmind and Sinjo for calling them out in my last video. Um, <laughs> this does explain everything. Yep. Yeah. And it still sounds strange. <laughs> <laughs> it still sounds strange. But I think I think like I think because what he does is pretty clever. To be fair. Because it is. if we thought it, would, it it was sounding like automation, and yeah. it proves it's not automation. Yeah. So that's really yeah. good. That's that's a really good knowledge about how to record. We talked about this this morning as well. Uh, we we had a discussion about um, um, how would you create like a track without using any automation? Yeah. Like you could you could basically gate all your uh, the frequencies of your snare and of your kick. Yeah. Um, but it will be difficult because if you go like, then it will already pick up like it was a kick. You know, like the like it would be a little bit louder and it would still get that. Yeah, so basically what you're saying is you can gate is is like you can have a certain hertz frequency and yeah. when your sound hits that hertz, yeah, it yeah. boost so, basically. Yeah, so if, if it hurt, uh, if, if, if it feels that frequency above a certain volume, you can gate that and say like every time I, uh, that one only hits that frequency on that volume. Will be louder. Uh, or will be louder or has this EQ, EQ yeah. or um, it... I don't know. It uh, it has then it has transients or whatever. Yes, yeah. so, but the weird thing is like you can't is, you can't use transients. By the way, I think you you cannot use transients in your no uh, because your, it's it's still automation. No, 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 it's not transients. No, transients is not automation. It, it, it will make your kicks more. Well, like every punch. Do you know sound. what automation means? Yeah, yeah, but it's no. Do you know what it means? Yeah, it, I know what it means. You don't have to burn me in the video like this. Okay, but, but it's okay. What is automation? It's it's when you. Um, when your EQ or your whatever you're using will change over time during the video. Exactly. Yeah. So I know what it means. You don't have to, okay, okay, to be so, so such a dick <laughs> to me. <laughs> so yeah, last time you did it with the fucking Joel Turner video. <laughs> um, yeah, my brother. <laughs> all right, I'm kind of a dick. Um, no, so uh, yeah, but so so the uh, the transients thing is not automation necessarily. It's just an effect that they don't want you to use in in uh, wild cards. Okay. They they told us to you can use. I think it was a uh, uh, little bit of saturation. That means distortion. Mm -hmm. Just a little bit of uh, uh, distortion. To make it a little bit louder, I guess. Um, or distortion is just adding. Um, Distortion. I don't know too much about distortion, but mm. it's it's it's. Uh, I think Sinjo should make a video about Yo, actually, this, what, what distortion more, actually is. Actually, it would um, be really cool if you can get Sinjo. But uh, usually it sounds like nicer on some sounds, especially if you go like, like if you, if you, yeah, okay. it, it, it's, it's more, more texturizing. Yeah, and, exactly. It's a yeah. different texture. Cool. Um, and then you have reverb. Um, reverb is just like uh, extending yeah. the till of the sound, basically. Like, um, yeah, yeah. People know what reverb is. Yeah. And and then you can use EQ. You can use EQ, like uh, like Ritmind showed us in the video. Because you um, had a you had a little meeting with the Swiss beatbox team for the for the kickback battles, yeah, right. And they told you this that you can use a little bit of EQ and whatsoever. Or no, that's in the uh, that's in the rules. That's oh, in, that's in the rules. Yeah, that's in the rules. That's normal. That's for mm. every every single wild card. You can use uh, reverb, EQ, uh, saturation, okay. as long as it's the same settings throughout the whole video and compression. Yep. You can use compression, and that means you can also use a limiter. A limiter is basically yep. like a like a like a very heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, compressor. Yeah. So basically, you can use all those effects, but you just need to be. It needs to be the same throughout the whole video. That's basically it. Yeah. You just have these are your settings. These four things. Mm -hmm. You have them in the rack, and then. Okay. Um, cool. Uh, and that's that's what you do. You don't. And that way, the judges can actually hear what your sound is. Even though, like, like let's be honest here. Um, judging wild cards with everyone using a different microphone and different settings is. 
super difficult. Yeah, it's really hard. So I can understand. they had to like judge with, and and I had to do this a couple of times. I don't like honestly, I don't like judging online events that much because it is so. Um, uh, oh, there's a good word for this. There's, I'm gonna just explain it. There's so much different chance. Um, for someone with a good microphone to be better or I'm trying no, to no, no, it's, <laughs> uh, it's so faulty. Um, oh man, I'm really in the Netherlands, in the in Dutch, fout gevoelig to use to, for, for what. Okay, we're okay. Okay, using English in our explanation for technical stuff. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it is. I like how we how we said. Just everyone sounds completely different, and it's very hard to to if someone has a very clean microphone mm -hmm. and has a bass boost. It's very hard to to know if he practiced really hard, like years and years, to get this sound perfectly sounding. Or is it just or mic? is it just the microphone? Mm -hmm. And that that even judges can always tell. Yeah. Okay, and um, I, I like battles in real life because not only because of the the audience and everything, it's just a little bit more, uh, more more honest. It's more transparent because everyone yeah. is using the same microphone with the same settings, yeah. and it's and, and that's how it should be. Like just the same microphone, yeah. the same line, the same speakers. Yeah, that's yeah. The, that's the, the honest. That's in the way you you can hear the honest sound. Yeah, like per beatboxer, because even even when you have uh, like for instance, dynamic microphones. I don't know if it's the same with condenser, um, but you told me like every dynamic microphone, even if it's the same microphone, it will still sound differently. Yeah. So this is what I heard from Sinjo. Big shout out to uh, to Sinjo, my man. Sinjo. Um, uh, yeah, he, he he told me something about the difference between dynamic microphones and 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 and, and condenser microphones. So here we have condenser microphones, right? Um, these are usually a little bit more pricey. Um, generally speaking, not always, and uh, they usually they have a little bit more uh, uh, clear sound, so yeah. so more realistic sound. And dynamic microphones have a more saturated, a little bit more saturated mm -hmm. sound. Um, and so these are more sensitive. So also try to not like like throw them on the ground as much as as dynamic microphones. <laughs> dynamic microphones can 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 uh, can endure more damage. Yeah, but like to be I fair, feel. don't don't throw your microphone on at the ground. All, just, at all. Just don't do it. I love, I love how you always when when you go to like a beatbox event and you have these like <laughs> sure microphones that they use at at one venue for like a thousand years and they have like these all these dents in it. Yeah. And actually, I do enjoy can, it because you can you can, can, hold, you it. can <laughs> hold it. You can you can put your fingers right inside the the little uh, um, dents. Yes. Yeah, um, so, but I was explaining. So, so what Sinjo told me is. Condenser microphones are uh, are sounding always the same, like always the same, and um, with the same EQ and with the same settings, mm -hmm. they should sound the same. And with dynamic microphones, uh, they they sound different even when the temperature in the room differs. So oh. when it would be cold in the room first and then gets warmer, the sound of the dynamic microphone would change because the materials change. And and mm. for some reason, the the dynamic microphones don't have this issue. Condenser. The yeah, the condenser microphones don't have this issue. Dude. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. That's that's uh, that's that's cool actually to know. I think in my opinion, it's cool. To yeah. know. Um. So I was saying, I would I would love to have to have Sinjo in here maybe in a future episode to get some explanation on yeah microphones or sound but then, but then I'm, or I'm, whatever. I'm 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 happy. Like I uh, like from this video from Redmind, I I I totally believe this. So, yeah. so um, again, our apologies for calling you out. It was just we're we were calling out the sound more than you. We were calling out. <laughs> okay, maybe I shouldn't. <laughs> oh my god, this is so horrible. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> No, it was it was just like it was sounding strange, and we we actually got like if I watched the 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 the, the comments on the videos, a lot of people were like, yeah, that sounded strange. That was yeah. really weird. like we were not the only one who thought this, but it's really nice that uh, that he made this video and explaining how he created this sound basically, and uh, basically showing us that he was not cheating, um, which is good. Which is really good. Yeah, that's really nice.
just to make some things clear in the community. Yeah, it's nice. And um, what I like for this battle, because because now we have these top eight, and um, they're sending us microphones and the entire uh, recording set. Yeah. So the purpose of this is that we are all recording with the exact same sound. Yeah. Um, with the exact same microphone, exact same interface. Um, same settings. Same settings, everything. And we send the clean audio to Sinjo, who's going to Sinjo. master it, probably all the same way, like all the all the wild cards, I, yeah. I, would, I would hope. And they are presented after this, this processing, the same processing, to the judges. And they, are, uh, they can then <coughs> have yep. their honest opinion about their uh, the the, the, about the, wild the cards. about the battle yeah but that's really yeah. good because because if you for instance you or uh or dilip or villain or ripmind you all have different microphones so you will all have different sounds yeah and the really good thing about this battle is that you all have the same package yeah so yeah so you will all sound the same and i think sinjo will all master it the same because that will be the fairest thing to do um yeah. so in that way you will all sound the same and it's 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 all coming down to your performance and uh, beatbox basically yeah because even if it's a video because it's an online battle i think performance will matter in the way you bring your beat in the video i think it will also matter as in in the video as in as in if you are there like yeah, especially I or think especially <laughs> especially in the in the battles. I think I yeah. think the battles will be very interesting. And also we have some more time to respond to each other, I think. So it's not like like a normal battle. Yeah. Where you're like you have one minute thirty as the other person is beatboxing. People don't realize this, but it's not like you can think clearly as the other person is is like mm. um hyping up the crowd and you're like Wait, is this a good battle move? And you're like, you can't even hear yourself think. So like, like responding in a real battle is um, is 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 super difficult. Yeah. But but is it um, like for instance, you battle against villain? I'm just saying something. Yeah, yeah. Your, your cable. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. Yeah, there we go. Wait, wait. Yeah, yes. Oh. Yeah. yeah okay, yes. so guys, don't ever buy XOR yeah. cables from AliExpress. Oh, don't, this is from don't. AliExpress. This one is from AliExpress. I mean, any cable that I bought broke, so I don't. I'm. I don't. I. I just. <laughs> I'm just quitting you buying didn't cables. Even, you didn't even. This guy didn't even brought any XOR cables at all. I just want to the house. He was I like, "Oh, wanna, Voxel, you have enough cables." Yeah, but, uh, I have. Sure. At home, at home, at home, home. I have five, five or six XLR cables, and one of them works. Half. And. <laughs> It makes me cry at night. Sometimes I wake up at night, I cry. Vice World Champion. <laughs> I cry really loud. This guy was more happy winning the wild card for for kickback and getting an XOR cable than getting yeah. The I saw. I was so excited. There was such so such good prices. You have an audio interface. Then you have a, a DPA microphone. Um, the Vimoda headphones. The Vimoda headphones. But then with with the my with my own name on it. But the but pearl they are. also have an XLR cable that might work one day. And like that's so exciting to me. Like I, I love spending like 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 the next two weeks after receiving it with a good XLR cable before it breaks down after two and a half weeks. And I'm I'm just I'm just extremely excited to, to, to get use it this for two microphone. and a half weeks. I don't know how long it is, but what is it like one and a half meter? I don't. I don't. I think even, it was five meters actually. Is it five meters? I think it's pretty. I'm long gonna. Cable. I'm gonna walk around the house with the five <laughs> meter cable, because I'm. I'm so excited to use an XLR cable that doesn't break after two uses. I hope. I hope. I don't it know doesn't what, break. Why does it always break? Why? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I was Dude, saying. Dude, like people at home, do you have the same problem? I have so much cables that broke down, and I'm like, I'm gonna make them one day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sit down and 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 screw the thing. And I did in the beginning. I had, I had like in the beginning, I had like two cables with all tape around it. Like. Yeah, like two cables, and then one broke down, and I was like, I'm gonna make this cable. And I, I opened it up, and I saw the issue. I was like, okay, because the issue is usually in the head of the um, in the, the in the connection in the connection uh, part of the cable. So you open that up, you're like, oh, that's the problem. Let's fix it. And you fix it, and it works for another two days, and then you can do it again. And it's, <laughs> and at one point, you're like, I'm just going to buy cheap cables. 
because hmm, they will break down anyway. I've bought expensive cables. I've bought cheap cables and they oh, always broke. break always you can buy a fucking <laughs> like you can buy a like seriously you can buy a six euro cable which is cheap for an xlr yeah, cable yeah. it will break but you can also <laughs> buy one from 30 euros or 40 euros but <laughs> but the the good thing is they will also break <laughs> So what I'm doing right now, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just buying a lot of these cheap cables, and then when they break, I buy a new one. <laughs> I buy a new one, and I keep the old one for no reason. <laughs> so I have a lot of cables. But I mean, to be fair, you don't really, you don't really take good care of your cables. You, I mean, to be fair, right? All right, but this guy, whenever I I came to his old house, like. Like this is new, the new house. Whenever I came to his old house, he has like a, the studio space, and there will always be the XOR cables on the ground, being rolled over with his chair, being being I don't know, just just. just I that's because I lost my respect for XLR cables. You lost your respect. I lost my respect for XLR cables. You know, I have one cable that I hate more than XLR cables. <laughs> What is it? That's the converter between XLR and jack. <laughs> that one breaks down. Like I told you about the, sh the 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 how fast the XLR yeah. cable breaks. This one, this connection from XLR to jack, I don't know what they do, <laughs> but they make it so that they break down even quicker. <laughs> it's nuts. Maybe maybe they do it on purpose so you will buy more cables. Is that it? How sick would that be? That's like Whoa, that's that that be that be yeah, that be good sick. marketing actually. Yeah. Anyway, guys, um, so that was our thoughts on on XLR, XLR cables. cables. <laughs> Whoa, that was that was solid. I like that. Oh, I actually um, saw that you guys liked our handshake. Yeah, our handshake. let me show you. Yeah, do you want to learn it? We have no. Do we, you want to be a man of cool? A simple mind. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, wait, we didn't repost. We Maddox, didn't post the video. Maddox, Maddox actually comment on our YouTube video, and he was like, uh, um, "Name your podcast: uh, Two Guys, Three Brains." <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Like, I I kind of like the name. Two guys, three brains. I think I have two brains. You have like, no, actually I have three brains. You have like none. <laughs> I mean, there's space <laughs> enough for a lot of yeah. brains, but In, yeah. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, so we have the handshake, but we also have a a like superior version oh, of the handshake. Bro. bro, I'm not even gonna look. Like. That's just how Ooh. we do that. Oh, That's how, what? Okay, just one more time, one more time. Oh, because it... Oh. <laughs> we, we used to do this. Um, uh, <laughs> we competed in, in, in Holland's Got Talent, and we did this handshake all the time. This is kind of like our gimmick. And it's funny because it impressed no one. <laughs> You know, we were at, we we made this we made this handshake, and then yeah. um, there was one moment where we would walk on stage and do like a cool like. I was like in the, in the a, final, yeah. In the yeah, final, yeah, we yeah. used to walk on the stage. Yeah, and and people were by themselves. They were just like they walked up, and there was like spotlight. They, they were like, like, yeah, yeah. You know, we were like I was, I was like, that's dumb. We're gonna do our handshake. So we're like, we walk up, we do our handshake, and I don't, and I don't like, think it worked. Well, we didn't win, so I, I don't think it worked. I don't think it worked. <laughs> okay, but yeah. I think Holmes Content will be a next subject maybe on the show. Um, oh, definitely not. That's definitely not. Definitely not. Okay. So, no, 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 guys. It was a fun experience. It was a fun experience. But this will be for our next episode. Um, I think we're going to wrap it up. We're going to wrap it up. We, we talked about cables. We talked about cheating. We talked about... Ripmind. <laughs> Being a good guy. Yeah. G making a good video. Thank yeah. you for this, by the way. It's really cool for Lido with you. Um, so, yeah. Do you have any suggestions for... A next episode that we can discuss over. Yeah, we'd like to talk about some controversial stuff because um, it's needed in the beatbox scene. Yeah, some controversial. We're t we're gonna talk about girls in beatbox scene next time. Mm. Next time. I don't. I don't. I don't mind. We're girls gonna. We want to speak up. Speak up or shut up. That's actually. I like that name. That uh, Rilana actually put that name. Rila oh. uh, speak up. Speak As up a, podcast. Ooh. Speak up. Speak up, podcast. Anyway, still, guys, if you have any suggestions for the names, put it in the comments. Uh, our Instagram will be right there and right here. Yeah. Um, yeah, give us a follow. If you have any memes, they're now on the Reddit page. Yeah, please, please send them to the Reddit page. We have Adept Memes. R slash Adept Memes is our Reddit page. Reddit page. It will memes. be in the description, I hope. 
or it will be somewhere here. I, I'll put it here. I'll put it here because now. Are you gonna put it there, or do um, I need to put it there? I, I don't know who's gonna edit, but <laughs> okay, <laughs> um, someone's gonna put it here. Um, yeah. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, that's it. That's it. I got one more thing. Okay. Like last week, we talked about doing an MTV Crips video of the house, and oh. we actually got some comments of yeah. people liking the idea. So maybe we kind of have to. I'm not sure if you see this shit, but we we bought a pool table. This is like a house for. MTV Crips. MTV Crips. We're gonna show our fridge what's in there. You don't. You don't want to know what's in our <laughs> fridge, man. Um, so anyway, guys, it's it's mainly soy milk. So anyway, guys, <laughs> <laughs> so somewhere in the near future we will have an MTV Crips video up. Uh, next week will be another podcast on a Wednesday. Yeah. Thanks to our sponsors, Audio Technica. And yeah. um, Nike, of course. Sennheiser, DPA. Yeah, DPA. Uh, we have some Focusrite stuff here. Uh, TCL Econ. Yeah. Um, Foxel. Foxel. BR. Nah, BR doesn't really sponsor. Um, <laughs> Basin. Never mind. Never. It's okay. Um, anyway, guys, <laughs> anyway, guys, see you next episode. Uh, oh, yeah. Also, we didn't post yesterday. I'm, I'm like making I, the, the I, outro and. Yeah, I'm, I already said this. We didn't post yesterday. We had some trouble yeah. uh, with the audio, and uh, I hope it will be fixed now. Yeah. So we're going to uh, check it, and if not, we're going to put on some Radiohead and cry our eyes out. So let's go, see guys. You guys. Um, and you guys. Um, see you guys <laughs> next week. <laughs> Building it for the building 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 for